Hi everyone, you're watching the Cosmos Sky channel. Here we talk about tank drums, study and explore music, and do plenty of interesting things. You're always welcome to join us here. Today I've prepared for you a tremendous drum review, where I'm gonna show you 13 exciting tank drums. And they're all woody drums the tank drums that have a wooden body. You know, guys, this video is sort of special, because some of the tank drums here have been waiting to be reviewed for two years. We haven't made video reviews for almost two years, but over that time we've made these amazing instruments. I've played all of them, but I haven't had a chance to show them to the world, just to my friends. So, guys, this review is gonna be long, so get ready to learn some interesting facts. Also, at the end of this video, I'll tell you about a nice giveaway that means you can get one of these 13 tank drums. Just watch till the end. It's important. But before we start, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button and like this video. So we arrange the giveaway and you like the video and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right, guys, first of all, let's figure out what a wooden tank drum is. We call it woody drum or hive, and even acorn, you know. Now we just call it woody. A wooden tank drum is a musical instrument, so its uniqueness and peculiarity is in its sound. So if we compare it with a conventional tank drum, we can see that it sounds different. What is it like? I would describe it as warmer, cleaner and woodish, as you can literally hear the tone of wood in it. You see, it's 50% made of wood, when a normal tank drum is 100% made of steel, our wooden drum is made of steel and wood. Like any other tank drum, it has a steel half with tons, but also a wooden body half. And it also sounds. It's basically an additional effect. Its main sound gets a special tone with woodish overtones. Let me play for you a little. In this video review, I'm going to compare woody drums with conventional models for you to see and hear the difference. I'd like to add that it's a really unique instrument, as it was developed in our workshop, and we're the only manufacturer of such drums in the world. It's our unique development. We have been improving and upgrading it further on for two years so far, and keeping on experimenting. Right here, you can see a selection of the best models that won't make a range. The drum in my lap is an approved product that we have made plenty of and that we actually sell. The ones you see on the desk are the best woody examples, but for different reasons they won't be reproduced. Also, please watch another video clicking on the link that will pop up somewhere here, where I'm revealing the details of its creation and production, as well as other peculiarities. You'll see our first woodies there, feel free to watch it. Let's move on and speak about wooden drums features. Obviously, it has a different tone quality and a wooden body that sounds as well. And there are some special effects I previously mentioned. It's a wow effect. So you can hear it when playing. 
Takže. Also. Another effect resulting from pressing the inner sounding board. And you can hear this truly cosmic sound. Besides, there is a built-in pickup here. Traditional steel tan drums may also be equipped with pickups, but they don't pick up the sound as perfectly as wood is due to warm and marvelous wood. You only need a jack to plug it in, add a combo amplifier, and also a computer to record the instrument's sound. Of course, it differs from the microphone sound recording, nevertheless, it's decent enough. If you'd like to use an amplifier just to play outside or rehearse, it's totally possible. If you want to learn more about the way Woody sounds with such special effects, watch another video clicking on the link that will appear here. There, I connect the drum to the effect processor and reveal some interesting details. All right, guys, let me tell you a few words about the first tank drum. You see, I've already started playing it in this video, because it's basically that very model that can be considered classic. Why classic? Because it has an established body size and shape, and also tuning. This model is made in two tuning modes. If you see one notch on a tone, it's a two-tone or two-tone. If three, it's a three-tone or three-tone. I'll show you a tree tone later for you to see the difference. The thing is that the two tuning modes we're coming up with, the third tuning is to be added soon, are first seen for a drum of this very size and tan positioning, so that it can sound fantastic. All the peculiarities have been taken into account. This model is brought to perfection, and we can easily reproduce it, make it to order and sell. That's why I call it classic. You can even play on its wooden body. Hole. Sounding board and so on. You see now that it's a truly classic model and it's top notch in terms of sound. But prior to master its production method and realize how this sound is transferred from steel to wood and back, we have come a long way. We have made a lot of other experimental and stunning drums, so let's take a look at them. Here is a really thrilling drum. Actually, its upper half is almost the same. The notes here are the same as on the previous drum I showed you. The only difference is that there are three notches and some tons. It's a three-tone or three-tone with five three-tone tons and five two-tone ones. I hope it's clear. Three tones sound in one ton at the same time. So, if you take a conventional tank drum to play, it has one ton with just one note. So, you hit it and hear a single note. Here, you get three notes at once and a richer sound. Woody drums are not the only ones that have such a feature. It's a peculiarity that all two tones and three tones have. You can watch a video about them too, the link will pop up as well. Let's move on though. You see that it has a massive wooden body. The previous drum has a small body that is unified. It's really handy, you can easily put it on your lap and so on. But this one is like a tumbler. It's huge and heavy, but look. It's like an Udo. At least we tried to make it that way. However, we aren't experienced in Udos at all. Moreover, they are usually made of clay. 
we just wanted to know more about its concept. We made the wooden part thinner on purpose, to make it more responsive. I believe it's a nice percussion instrument. Even though it has a steel part, you can use its percussion feature when playing. It also has two holes, here and here. If you place it on a desk, the sound will anyway get out of the side hole and you won't muffle it much. However, it's not that comfortable for you to place it on a desk due to its size and shakiness. Nevertheless, its sound is almost perfect. In fact, it's nearly ideal. If we made the same instrument with a regular smaller body, we would essentially get the same sound at the top. The only difference here is in this uniqueness. The drum has such an interesting percussion-type body. Let's listen to it a little. So, we have touched upon all its peculiarities. It also has a jack, and if you'd like to listen to its sound when amplified, feel free to watch our video where it sounds with the other instrument called Nickel Harper. The link will pop up too. It's an outstanding combination of cosmic, woodish, and somewhat elven sound. And amazing nickel harper. Just watch it, it's fantastic. And now the tuning of this instrument once again for you to understand what the notes are like here. The tuning is A minor, and it's one of those normal tuning modes we offer. The previous drum was tuned in two-tone A minor, and this one has three-tone A minor. A nice one. The other available tuning is H minor. Our American friend Kilani Das has already made a video review of a woody drum with such a tuning. The link is somewhere here. The review is great, everything is very well shown and explained. We're now preparing a C minor tuning too. For you to understand, those are the tuning modes available for these very drums, for them to sound perfectly good. If you are interested in a certain tuning, let us know in the comments below, and we'll take it into consideration. The issue is that we aren't making such instruments the other now, since it's pretty hard. We are experimenting. We aren't stuck in just one option. All the instruments you can see sound different. It will just be really hard for us to remake the same kind of tank drum. So we can only remake or reproduce the proven models we can rely on. I mean the so-called classic models. We can actually make another woody drum like this, but it means a lot of hard work for us to do. The standard body I showed you before is way handier and unified, so we'd better focus on that. As for notes, H minor doesn't mean that all the notes you see are only relevant for it. The notes of the H minor scale are specially selected for the drum to have such a mood. Why is it so? Just because it brings a certain emotional charge about. 
Here are the notes. That's A minor. Now C major. As you can see, a tank drum is a mood instrument. Your choice should depend on that. Each tank drum has a particular mood and its notes complement each other, are harmonized and transfer an emotional charge for you to focus on. So if you have no idea how notes work, don't worry about it. Just listen and feel what appeals to you, what fills you. What emotions are evoked by the drum sound combinations? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's be honest, friends. Are you getting tired of woody drums? Did you miss our steel tongue drums? So the reason I took a conventional steel tongue drum is to show you the sound difference. I'm not gonna say one of them is better or worse. In fact, I love steel tongue drums, and you can see an entire shelf of them behind me. They just have different tone qualities. Any well-made musical instrument is lovely, and its tone is peculiar in its own way. It affects your subconscious mind differently. One can be warmer, the other cooler. One is more cheerful, the other is more sonorous. Please remember what both drums sound like. Let's discuss it. The steel tongue drum has plenty of cool and metallic overtones in its sound. It's not bad at all, they're just bright and ringing and bell-like. Its sustain is rich, I mean the wavelength, you know. It still sounds and sounds. Due to the fact that it has a lot of high overtones that are called cool and ringing, it has a sort of crystal tone. You don't probably hear it all the time, but sometimes, when playing it, it shows up like a fine trickle. As for its drawbacks, this drum has many overtones that aren't tuned perfectly, and they can result in creating background noise when you play on and on, and the notes superimpose on each other. The sound is mixed and dissonant. That's what I'm speaking about. These sounds like these. Let's make the other instrument, and you'll hear this. It's wood. Mm -hmm. 
It sustain is shorter but denser, thicker and louder. It's also warmer. You can't hear those high-pitched overtones anymore, and that crystal tone is gone. But instead, there are kind of muffled overtones contributing to the sound warmth and coziness. What does this sound remind you of, I wonder? We've dealt with their differences. We'll be comparing more instruments with the same tune in those shortly. Now let's speak about this particular drum. Just look at its shape. You can barely imagine how difficult it was for us to make it. In fact, this drum was made over two years ago. Back then, I played it on stage twice. It was awesome. And if we manage to find a video of it, we'll add the link here as well for you to watch and listen. It just needs to be edited. Why is it peculiar? We made such a body shape on purpose to check how the sound would be produced. Besides, it's easy to place it between your knees when playing. You usually just put a conventional drum on your lap, but this drum needs to be held between knees. Pretty comfy. As for its drawbacks, it's much heavier than regular woody drums of about 4 kilos or lighter. It weighs at least 6 kilos. It's well equipped, you know, and also has a sensor and legs to position it. As it's over two years old, it has undergone some redecoration. I've already repainted it because of its scratches. Now it's tuned to 432 hertz. Most of our instruments are tuned to 440 hertz, but we sometimes offer 432 to other or experiment with it ourselves, as the issue is intriguing and needs a separate video. If you're interested in this topic, let me know in the comments below and I'll tell you more about it. Just note that this drum is tuned to 432 Hz. Let's talk about its tuning now. It's G major. Lovely. We aren't offering it for conventional tank drums so far, but we might start soon. I'm not completely satisfied with the way this tone sounds. It's nice on the one hand, but kind of constrained here and here as well. Yeah. These tones sound better and brighter. Everything else is good. So it needs further enhancement since it's experimental. Well, I can't say it sounds bad or the tones sound terrible. I enjoy playing it, but before we start its mass production, I'd prefer to make it sound flawless. Not perfect, though, but better than now. It needs improving. By the way, we've recently recorded a video featuring this drum being played with Gusli. Please watch it clicking on another pop-up link. That's G major. All right.
sides. Just a moment. Overall, it sounds great. Its mood is so warm, but a bit winter-like, deep and kind. As it's tuned in G, it sounds lower than a conventional A minor or B minor drum. The sound here is velvety. Yeah, it's totally warm and velvety, as I previously described. It's like, oof. <laughs> and now, guys, here is a 22 centimeter woody drum, a small one. You know where to search for the link to a relevant video. If it pops up, just click on it. Agreed? In such a video, I played a very similar instrument tuned differently and demonstrated the drum's capacity. This very drum has eight tongues and eight notes. The scale is C major. And this is the instrument in question. I mean, we're not sure yet whether it deserves being remade over and over again. It's not very handy and it's like a small tumbler. If I compare it with a steel tongue drum of 22 cm, you'll see that a steel tongue drum is handier. It also sounds awesome. I guess you've heard everything. Basically, the woody sound is warmer. Why does it cause doubts? Because its shape is not the best. It's as hard to make as the big woody drum you saw earlier. The eventual result is not bad as the sound is warm, but it's still in question. If you can help me with making a decision regarding it, leave your feedback in the comments below. We're still making them to order, but might stop soon, as we'd like to develop a clearer strategy in terms of further tank drum production, and it's hard to make the right decision when there are so many instrument options. We'll keep on experimenting, but we'll only produce the best instruments we get as a result. It's always great to do creative work, but routine also matters. It lets us accumulate energy. We all need to keep this balance as constant creativity or just bare routine work eventually results in tiredness. Okay, let's listen to this drum a bit more. what it sounds like. Its sound is full of overtones as well. The tuning is C major, and we can clearly hear its mood. Christmas mood. <laughs> Moving on. Thank you. 
It's something new. Arabic sound, as you could notice. This drum looks like a steel tongue one. But here, there is a thin wooden part. It creates additional sound. It's a sort of our secret, but I'll reveal it to you as there is wood in it. So you can hear me play with it. So this model isn't a fit for mass production either, but it's captivating. We don't make such tank drums because they are rather heavy. It does contain wood and steel, it's obviously heavier than a normal tank drum, and we'd probably better make a typical woody drum, as it will sound almost the same way because of wood. Yeah, this drum is smaller, but it's actually heavier. It also has that effect of playing with the instrument's sounding board. We can press on it and change the sound. Or we can use its percussion capacity. And yeah, there is a built-in sensor here as well, so the sound can be picked up. The most peculiar feature of this drum is its tuning. I got totally immersed in it when playing, as it coincided with my mood. There is some magic in Arabic tuning for sure. <laughs> It's not always that enjoyable to play in such tuning modes. Well, I'd say it doesn't always match your mood or something. You might notice some dissonance. However, this tuning's magic sometimes just enshrouds you with its mystery. You might find it harder to play compared to a conventional tank drum, as you don't always feel the harmony. On the other hand, if you play and focus on your current state and realize that the sound resonates with you, it can be a perfect match. This escalating state can be just like yours at a particular moment. You can keep on playing and eventually feel relieved. Reach the balance, you know. When we play, we control the sound. We don't just listen to it. We create it ourselves. We can even feel better while playing mournful tunes. We can live separate lives inside one big life. Notes create those micro lives and eventually you feel relieved. These are just my observations. Let's come back to the tank drum. Its tuning is Arabic. We'll attach another video link as before. I won't be commenting on that anymore. Different Arabic tone systems can be found on the internet. I mean, they just exist. And they mean that some semitones are tuned between notes and create such type of sound. 
The things you should know are that it sounds lovely. We won't be making such drums because of the shape, but the tuning should be implemented on a classic woody drone that is smaller. If you feel like that too, let us know in the comments. It can really facilitate the process of its production. I love it. Just didn't have time to start making it. So you know what to do. Your opinion matters. Let's move on and listen to more instruments. Hey, look. It's so responsive. When you put it on your lap and muffle the tones, you get such a response. That's power. <laughs> when I show this instrument to my friends and do this, it sounds like a gunshot. The sound wave just blows you away. Don't know if the mic can handle it, but you can physically feel the sound stream you are faced with. <laughs> the stream goes right from this hole. It's really powerful as the sound is low. It's dense and the amplitude is strong. It's like a drum. For instance, a big African drum that produces a very similar effect or a tambourine. Just like that. So guys, it's the biggest woody drum we have made. Well, there is one more here as well. In fact, this tank drum was made as a present for my friend, but it will only be given to him after I record this video review, as I just don't have time now to make another drum like this. But I really want to show it to you. The idea to make such a tank drum results from the tuning mode you can now hear. This tuning was first implemented on a regular steel tongue drum. It was a perfect match. My friends and I spent the entire summer playing that drum and enjoying it a lot. There is so much in its mood. You must have heard it before on YouTube. If not, check out the pop-up link and you'll get it. The tuning is B minor 11A. B minor. If we just focus on the tune in itself and ignore the fact that the tank drum is wooden, I have to say that this tune in is great, as it's diverse, there are some melancholy chords, and also some light ones that sound higher and even higher. The instrument is so manifold. In fact, it includes four keys. We tried playing it together with a number of other musical instruments to experiment. We could take a guitar, play it in one key, and it fit in, try the other key or tone, and it was a match again, B minor, D major, and also F sharp minor, E minor, A minor. It turned out to be terrific. I think I'll make a video reveal on the story behind the steel tongue drum with this tuning. In this case, I just used the same tuning and the woody started to sound great due to the perfectly matching body size and well-tuned sounding board. We always tune all the instrument's parts. The upper half, all the notes and the bottom part too, to finally get this. A really nice drum. You can play on its sounding board.
Obviously, it's incredibly heavy and huge. I guess it must weigh about 8 kilos. It's a non-standard option. Once I went on a mountain trip and took it with me to make a music video. Yeah, I did record it, but I had to drive to my video location and only carry the drum for less than a minute just 15 meters. It's almost impossible to walk with it for hours. You must be an epic hero to do that, you know. It's also equipped with a sensor and so on. Basically, it's our standard model. It's one of a range, and its size is a proven one. We've made plenty of such drums already. Now the sound. I'm going to compare it with a steel tongue drum. A true musician would probably say that the woody sounds more professional, since its sound is cleaner, clearer, and better distinguished. This is my perception too. Certainly, both instruments sound awesome. To just describe the sound, I'd say it's clear, warm, and velvety. The drum body here is better tuned. It's all set. When I play the other drum, I feel that it doesn't always sound perfect. It's okay overall, and you're not supposed to play this way at all. No one would say it sounds bad. It sounds wonderful. Just different. And it has bouncy balls inside that create their own sound. A few more things about this student mode, as it's really worth speaking about. The tones are positioned really well here. If I take another drum, you'll see that its tones are positioned in the shape of a star, a small one and a bigger one, five small tones and five big ones. And here, there is a central ton. And the others form a circle with steps. So 
what do we get? Not only do the two neighboring towns create a harmonious combination, like on that other drum, with exactly the same concept, but also two neighboring towns create a certain chord combination. Look, an interval and a third, a minor third, a major one, and so on. Actually, when you play, as there are so-called steps, it makes playing it way easier, so we can do this. Just play by circle and it already sounds amazing. Play on the right side. Then play on the left. <laughs> Moving on. I'm gonna tell you a few cool things about connecting a tank drum to the sensor. Here I have a portable sound recording studio, namely a sound card, but it can be a combo amp or something else. I connected a cord to the sensor. There I have a computer and speakers, but you can have it all in just one device. If it's a combo amp, it already has everything like input and loudspeakers, but I prefer the computer option as it lets me record the sound. Now I'm going to demonstrate you the high quality of such a recording made without mics as I connect the drum directly to my laptop. So let's begin. Let me start a metronome. Now let's listen. I'd say that the sound isn't excellent compared to the sound recorded with mics that contribute to its surround. The sound I recorded is flatter and more percussive. Nevertheless, it's already amazing and its quality allows you to work with it, perform live, mic it up and even make recordings. That's what the percussion part sounds like. I mic up the sound using the sensor anyway, and the drum body is being mic'd up for you to play on it additionally.
Let's listen now. Once again. You know, I've done some audio programming. I added some reverb and delay, adjusted pitch to make the tank drum sound an octave higher, so it became kind of squeaky voiced. So it's like... And initially it was like that. Much lower. I can make it even lower. So guys, the idea, the idea behind is simple. This tiny thing gives new opportunities for you to experiment with these sounds. With electronic music that might have folk elements. It makes the process of tank drum sound recording and programming very accessible. The very sound tank drum produces is already like a sort of synthesizer. You just add some sound effects to get really impressive and truly cosmic sound combinations. Feel free to experiment, as it's really easy, exciting and engrossing. Guys, if you'd like me to make a more detailed video about connecting a tank room, recording it and adding sound effects, as well as the types of such effects and equipment and cards you need, let me know in the comments. Just say, please make a video about all that. And if I see numerous comments, I'll make it for you. We must be sure you really need it. I hope you have noticed. Noticed how many sounds there are here. It means there are many notes. I really wanted to make an instrument that would have more than, say, 11 notes. I wanted to get 13 or 15 notes. We experimented for a while and came up with such steel tongue models eventually. However, it's the first woody drum with such a number of notes. The body size here is regular. I previously named it unified. That's the sounding board. And the effects are as usual. Its only difference is that it has 13 tons and 13 notes. The central ton is right here. It allows you to play more tunes and gives you a wider range. Here are the low sounds and also the high ones. Middle and high. We're still not sure whether it will make a series. I think it won't. Yes, we do admit it makes high-pitched sounds. 
that sound kind of good, but still pretty trapped. The same sounds produced on a still tongue drum are brighter if we speak about low sounds. They seem good, but again, if we compare them with this drum, they are more intense and dense. Evidently, this woody has its peculiarities and I'm aware of them. We've managed to make it, but we'd rather improve it to be completely satisfied. The tuning mode here is really interesting. It's C major, Lydian. The C Lydian, I mean. It's the Lydian mode. The C major where the fourth degree is higher. To put it in the language of feelings, I'd say that this major mode is way more cheerful than the normal one. The C Lydian is the most cheerful mode. There is another major chord added, so it ends up in endless joy. Just listen. Oh, it's a bit melancholic. It's so comfortable to play it, as all the tones here are tuned in third. And they're next to each other, so I can do this with my three fingers. I play a chord. Or play like that. I'm used to playing in intervals of two notes. You can turn it otherwise. As I said above, it starts with C, but there is a low A note that also contributes to the velvety sound. There are some note peculiarities. If you get it, you'll benefit from it. The others will consider it a nice and clear-sounding tank drum with a variety of notes, allowing you to play many different tunes in a rather easy way, since the notes form a circle, just start with any. and simply hit the neighboring ones. I really like these combinations, as they sound somewhat folk, 
of course, if you play in such a way. It's a bit similar to Gosley, as the chords played on it are changed exactly like thought. <clears throat> the thing that I don't like much about it is the way the high notes sound. I don't enjoy it much, but I've put up with it. The low ones too. But there are some notes that have such a side tone. I've struggled to get rid of it, but it's still present. Here. The sound isn't excellent. It can be taken advantage of, though, but the model itself needs further improvement To make it suitable for selling, let me show you another perk. I've already mentioned that you can play two notes at a time. But you can also play such percussive finger style. All right, it can be part of my video lessons. Now let's move further on. This tank drum is truly unique, guys. Even if taken the other woody drums into account. They are all different, but this one is outstanding. It's the one that has been waiting for its turn to be reviewed for the longest time ever. It was made more than two years ago. It's an oldie that's been played a lot. Now you can hear it at last. As you can see, it's equipped with a lever or a small paddle board that can change the sound. So if I had to use my fingers to press the sounding board on the other tank drums, here, I can do it so easily. As for the other peculiarities, I can say that we've done a great job. It's engraved with lovely leaves looking like real. It's our glazed ornament. The hole is sealed in, and what's inside? You know, the sounding board isn't made of wood. Guess what material was used to make it? The sound is your hint. Not sure you can guess it, though. Even I might guess it wrong. Just listen to the tone and you might get the answer to this question. Add your answers to the comments below. The first person who guesses it right will get a nice bonus from us. Relevant to tank drums for sure. Let's listen to the way it sounds. Sounds as if it's shouting something to us. Yes. 
Its tune and is C major. You can actually hear it, but I also added some deep bass to note G, so that it creates such an enshrouding sound. It's incredibly hard to make a range of such tank drums, as its mechanical arrangement and other things are so customized that it's hard to reproduce them. It's too unique and special. It was made in terms of experiments, and further on we'll be thinking about developing it further. If you loved it, let us know immediately for us to understand there is demand for it. If so, we'll do our best to make another copy and another. You know, we're always full of ideas, but we're limited in time. Moving farther on. Another nice tank drum. Its body is entirely wooden, something is sealed up in its bottom, the hole is in its side. It's hard to say why it has it. By the way, the tons are normal. The sound is okay, not too impressive. However, You know, I sometimes want to stop producing steel tongue drums and only make wooders. I've got so many ideas. So why can't I create such amazing things? You hear it, don't you? I've spent a few years of my life studying different electronic effects on the computer, which can transform the sound and create terrific abstract sound textures. It's cosmic. And here we go, coming up with tank drums that naturally create such sound effects. The drum with the lever, or this one where my knee presses its bottom, and the sound just acoustically reaches the texture that I got with electronic effects. It's like a synthesizer. It's so marvelous that we just transform a sound wave physically and absolutely naturally in a way that the tonal characteristic changes. That's physics. What else do we have? And again, there is a question whether we should produce a range of such tank drums or not. This model itself is thrilling. If you believe it's worth being made for sale, just let us know. We simply can't figure it out. I'm sure about that other model. As for this one, I'm still doubtful because when I just play it and I don't use any of its perks, it sounds quite dry. Not too bad, though. So, if we had some two-tone tones here, it would be more exciting. In addition, you can't always only play like that. It's not that comfy to play with just one hand. You can mostly experiment with its sound. So, I guess you've got it, haven't you? And we are moving on. This tank 
drum is the richest of all in bass. I've already showed you another bass tank drum, but this one makes even lower sound. It might not be that shrill and bright, but it's really deep. So, a few words about its shape. We used to make such big drum bodies before and preserved a massive one here because the sound is low and needs a lot of air to rock it. Its scale is special and unique. It's a kibono. And it's quite mystical. You can see some levers here. As you can see, the instrument is heavy, so it's hard to constantly hold it between your knees. So the levers are made to assist you a little. You can position the drum in a slightly better way. But its other perk is the following. You can take a strap and attach it to the drum to be able to play it when standing. it shrouds me with its sound. <laughs> the vibration that comes out is so strong. You can also dance and walk with it, but your lower back is loaded. So you should be in good shape to play it when standing. Nevertheless, the impression it gives you is marvelous. If a normal tank drum is kind of meditative, this drum is different. made another instrument that has a very beautiful shape. It's also experimental and the wooden body is made to hold it comfortably. However, I find it comfier to hold it like this, not like that, for some reason. Here is another board that sounds. And is used for percussion playing. There is a side hole too. Although it's less responsive than the bottom one. As for its tuning, we've come up with such a chart in terms of experiment. It's a circle. In fact, the tuning is C major. The Silidian that I already described above when reviewing a 13 tongue drum. This one has 11 notes. And they sound a bit clearer and louder due to their reduced number. like to make a range of such tank drums. It does appeal to me and it's peculiar, but there are things I would change, like the tuning and so on. It was cool to experiment with it, so I decided to show this tank drum to you. It has also been waiting for being reviewed. 
seriously, guys, if you really like one of these instruments, note that we're going to sell them soon and hurry up to choose the one that appeals to you most. As we will not remake any of them in the future, we're now focusing on making high quality standardized drums and we'll be experimenting on the sound to get the best possible ones. Making customized but imperfect tank drums don't mean growing professionally to us. That's how it goes. Here the tans are also positioned in a circle, which is really handy. Moving on, guys, there are just two tank drums to be reviewed, so let's have a look at them. Wow, it's so heavy. It's another huge tank drum that we chose for a few win. It's almost as big as that one I already showed you. It also weighs 8 or 9 kilos. Anyway, can you see anything on its top? The tan shape is unusual, so guess who got the idea to make them this way? I think you're getting tired of two tones and three tones, aren't you? But this one is different. We call it the leaf, due to its tan shape. Its tongues look like leaves. We noticed how beautiful tree leaves are by nature. So why can't we make a tank drum with such cute leaves? We normally say a tank drum has tongues. Why can't it have leaves then? All right, that's the shape and it sounds so good, right because of its shape. <laughs> Not only is it so eye-catching, it's also well implemented. There are pre-tuned combinations of three and even four notes. The tongue shape is wind-like and has such notches. That make tongues three-tone winds. So the sound turns out to be rich and superb. In fact, this is the richest bass a tank drum may ever have. It just blows you away. However, this one probably has stronger bass. More active, but yet higher in sound. This drum's sound is more powerful and lower. The scale here is E minor and it's experimental. I'm gonna show you a steel tongue drum of the same kind now.
Значит, по сути, мы сначала... We made this one first. Then we created a wooden one with the same features. The tone is the same, but the steel tongue drum sound is more metallic and less warm. So I guess you get it. The scale is truly superb. I find its tone quality somewhat medieval, as the notes are lined up in such a way that they even remind you of Game of Thrones theme, you know. <laughs> I think about castles and fortresses. Anyway, I don't think we'll ever reproduce it for sale, as it was extremely hard to make it. It was actually cumbersome. We'll see, though. You know, we'd better conserve our strength and save energy to come up with something that really inspires us. As there are many inspiring things, we try to be very selective in this aspect. Now I'd like to show you that, when producing sounds in such a harsh way, we can hear some crystal notes and overtones. You do hear them anyways, I've just highlighted them for you to hear. All right, warm greetings to those who have managed to watch it till this moment. I know this video review is very long, and it's the first time we're doing it. I hope it's lovely. In fact, I've got a little tired, but I have to tell you about our last tank drum. I'll try to be concise in my next description. It's basically our normal woody drum, but look at this. It has a built-in element with an on-off button, a knob, a jack connector, and a room for battery. Guys, we're trying to equip our tank drums with inner LEDs, an enhanced drum's capacity, connecting it to sound recording devices, so we build in additional preamps and so on. I'm not gonna demonstrate it now, just be aware of such features. We're planning a review of all that, so let us know if you'd like to watch it as soon as possible. Thank you guys for having watched this video till the end. The final part for you to watch is our giveaway. But before I reveal its details, please note that another video review is about to be released for you to watch more experimental tank drum models that we've been making for 18 months or more. You'll see new tone shapes, two-tone and three-tone models, more new tuning modes and tone positioning. 
It's important that you watch it to not let it fall into oblivion. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications and like the video to say your thank you, as we always try really hard for you as well. We make musical instruments and share our experience for you to know what a tank drum is, what it sounds like, why some tank drums are better than the others, what peculiarities they have. Let's develop tank drum culture together. The giveaway? As you can see, I'm wearing a nice Cosmos Sky t-shirt. It features a tank drum and an inscription. Can you figure out what it says? Let me know in the comments below. The t-shirts like that were created a while ago. The design and even the tailoring is ours. A lot of thought went into this design. We have a t-shirt giveaway on Instagram, so please click on the link in the description to take part in it. <laughs> I know you'll tell me, hey dude, you promised a tank drum giveaway, and now are telling us about t-shirts. In fact, we, Cosmos Kai, are giving away both a t-shirt and a tank drum. To get a t-shirt, you only need to go on Instagram and take a few simple steps like sharing a post. But to get a tank drum, you'll need to do your best. We have prepared for you a real quiz. To get one of our amazing tank drums, you'll have to answer the questions. And you really need to watch this video review to be able to answer them and also rely on your imagination. Firstly, go to the video description to find a questionnaire to complete and send to us. Secondly, write a name or nickname you used in the questionnaire in the comments below and also specify the tank drum you liked most of all. That's basically all. How are we going to choose the winner? You know, some of our tank drums I've reviewed today will be set out for sale, so our sales department will be happy to assist those who are ready to buy them. However, we'll put one tank drum aside in terms of our giveaway. It will be a secret drum, as we don't want our sales staff to know which instrument it is. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting video reviews and find out which wooden tank drum is supposed to be given away. So guys, we're coming to an end. I was happy to have you here and share my knowledge. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I wish you to reach balance and harmony with yourself and the world. See you guys. And in the end, let me play for you.